we're going to take a look at Google Takeout today. You can use Google Takeout to make a backup copy of anything you have saved to your Google Drive. So go ahead and open up a browser and go to Google. Once you're in Google, you're going to go ahead and type in Google Takeout. Once you've typed in Google Takeout, you should find the link. Go ahead and click on the link for Google Takeout. And it's going to open you up to the Google Takeout archive section. It may require that you log into your Google account. If you have not already logged into your Google account, you'll have to do that before you can access Google Takeout. If you notice up in the browser, the address is www.google.com forward slash settings forward slash takeout. We are going to be creating an archive. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the Create an Archive button. When we do that, you'll notice that all of the products I have been using in Google are selected. I'm not worried about creating an archive for everything, so I'm going to uncheck where it says Select All. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to check Mark Only My Drive. What that's going to allow me to do is to create an archive of all the files I have saved in my Google Drive. I might want to do that if I just want to have a safe place to back things up. Or maybe I am a student who is a senior and I'm getting ready to graduate and I would like all the files in my Google Drive. You can create an archive of your Google Drive and you can drag that folder to a flash drive or you can drag it somewhere safe on your computer. So we're going to go ahead and check Mark Drive, and then we're simply going to click Create an Archive. You'll notice that when you click Create an Archive, you get a message that says Starting, and it is saving all of my documents to a zip file. And you'll notice that you should have a screen that pops up with a download button. The more files you have in Google Drive, the longer this process takes. Sometimes it takes a few minutes, sometimes it may take up to five to ten minutes for you to actually end up with the download button. Once you do, you're going to click download. It may require you to log in again. Go ahead and click the download button. And then you're going to choose if you're going to open it or save it. I'm going to choose to save it. And it's saving it to my download section. So in Firefox, if I use the drop down arrow up in the right hand corner, I can see that that folder is downloading. And it's an entire folder with all of my documents in it. So once that's downloaded, where am I going to find it? You're going to go to your start menu and you're going to click on computer so that you can search your computer for that folder. Once you can see everything in your computer you're going to find the section that says downloads and you're going to go ahead and click on downloads. Then you're going to be able to see everything that you've downloaded. If you double click it'll open that file up so you can see everything there's my drive that I downloaded. If I double click on it, it's going to take me inside that folder. I'm going to double click again until I see the drive folder. Once you're inside and you see this drive folder, you can drag that and drop that somewhere safe. When I go back into my drive, into my documents, I now see that I have a folder that just says Drive. So those are the files and folders from my Google Drive. If I double click on that folder Drive, I'm going to be able to see all my folders and files inside Google Drive. So now I have a backup of all my material. If I need to re-upload these into Google Drive, I can do that, but I also have a backup saved on my computer.